Mark Abus here with another in a series of videos designed to help sales professionals get the most out of Dynamics CRM 2015. Today's video will help you get up to speed with CRM activity records, why they're important, and how to use them. Briefly put, use activity records to document and schedule interactions with all your customers. Use activity records to schedule future tasks for yourself, as well as tasks for members of your internal staff. As a busy sales professional, I know that organizing my day and my to-do list without the help of activity records would be difficult. Like you, I'm juggling leads and working to close deals all day long. Keeping track of all the moving pieces necessary to manage my business is definitely easier when I make use of the CRM activity records. So what do we mean when we say activities? Think of activities as all the things we salespeople do in connection with closing business. For example, sending emails, making phone calls, scheduling appointments, and following up on them. The menu in the red box provides a list of activity types that you manage using Microsoft Dynamics CRM. For the sake of keeping things simple, let's just deal with three common sales activity types today. Phone calls, appointments, and tasks. We'll take a look at an example of how activity records are used in a common sales scenario. Sales representative Veronica, you see here on the upper right hand corner, places an outgoing phone call to a lead of hers named Cat Francis. Veronica wants to gauge Cat's level of interest and propose a meeting with Cat and her team. Cat expresses interest in Veronica's product and agrees to pull the team together for a meeting. However, Cat needs a week to pull together her team and schedule that meeting. So, after the phone call, Veronica creates a phone call record documenting the subject and the results of the call. This is what it looks like after Veronica has saved the call record. The record gets a timestamp and the activity record is visible to Veronica and other CRM users on Veronica's team. You'll recall that in our example, Veronica needs to call Kat back in one week to confirm a meeting. So Veronica creates a task activity reminding herself to call Kat on 2-24-15 to schedule the meeting. After clicking OK, this activity record will show up in multiple places. It will appear in Kat's lead record, but also in other areas of the CRM, making it easier for Veronica to make sure she follows up on the call. This is one of the other places Veronica's scheduled tasks will appear in the CRM. It's called a system view. In this system view, you see an aggregated list of activities Veronica checks every day to perform all her sales related activities. Additionally, Veronica has the option of syncing her CRM tasks to the list of tasks residing in her Microsoft Outlook or even on a handheld device like a tablet or smartphone. Moving forward through this scenario, Veronica calls Cat on 224 and schedules a team meeting. Once again, all of this is captured and tracked inside of Cat's lead record. Veronica opens a new appointment record and enters the date, time, and location of the meeting. She clicks Save and the appointment has been captured in the lead record, as well as any other calendars or devices she's syncing with. You can now see all three activity records Veronica has created. Note that two of the activity records are now shaded and one is not. The shading indicates these activities have been completed, providing a quick way for Veronica to check for activities that are left open to perform. Now let's go back to our activity system view to see if it corresponds to what is in the actual lead record. The three activities associated with CAT are listed here. Again, two appear as completed with the meeting appointment showing up as scheduled. Hopefully we've provided you with a basic understanding of dynamic CRM activities, why they're useful, and how they are used. In a future blog, we'll examine how you use CRM activities to initiate and schedule tasks for other CRM users, as well as the syncing process we touched upon. Thanks for your time, and feel free to reach out and contact us using the information you see here. Thanks again.